Look at how beautiful it is outside today. Yes. And guys, look at what RJ made. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a smoothie. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. Yes, a brand new day. Beautiful morning. Just had my shower, brushed my teeth, and ready to tackle the day. How about you guys? By the way, guys, if you like this vlog, be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Join the Mabu High Squad. Oh, and by the way, also hit the bell and select all if you really enjoy these vlogs. So uh, you get notified every time we upload. Join the Mabu High Squad, guys. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. The guy is already up and active, and she's like picking at our banana there. <laughs> it's okay, it's been a long time since she's had banana, so I'm just gonna let her make a mess right now. She actually loves peeling the banana. What? What is it? You want scratches? <laughs> and behold the mess she makes when peeling her banana. Okay, this is going to the roaches. Now when I say the roaches, I literally mean the roach farm. They're all there. It's daytime, so they're all hiding right now. All over the place. These, of course, are food for my other pet. Look at how beautiful it is outside today. Yes. And guys, Look at what RJ made. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a smoothie. Is it icy? With ice? With the ice. Oh, it's just a blend of pineapple juice, moringa, and wheatgrass. And look at, he used the pineapple leaves and bore out an actual pineapple. How cute. And I see goji berries and the mulberry. Mmm, let's try it. It looks so refreshing. Sorry guys, I'm shirtless today because it's kind of one of those lazy days. Do you want to come here too? Come. Cypher wants to join as well. Yes, but I don't know if you're allowed to have this. Actually, it has all like safe ingredients. <laughs> Blend pineapple juice. Like fresh pineapple juice, Beth? Like you took the... Yeah. The, wow, the he, like, he literally took the flesh and blended it into a blender. It just needs a little bit of tequila and it becomes a piña colada. <laughs> what did they put in the piña colada? Okay, let's try. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh wow. So refreshing. Oh my gosh, babe. Mmm. Yes, pineapple juice is so sugar. good. Mmm. Just a cup of milk. Mmm. Mmm. This is quite nice. I like it. Wait, this this straw is not doing it for me. Mmm. Oh, yummy. So good. Hello. Guys, check out RJ's TikTok video on this drink and how it was made. Guys, look at the coaster. It says, enjoy the moment. I love this. How nice. All right, guy, it's time to shower, shower, shower. Go and get that little shower. Yes, she's um, bathing in her parrot tea blend. Yesterday, it was just like ordinary organic chamomile. But this is a legit blend of various teas, organic as well, from Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. And uh, I love bathing her in it. She smells good, all the nutrients are on her feathers, which the Gaia ingests when she preens herself. This particular blend of parrot tea is good for skin and feathers. It's also my favorite to bathe the Gaia in. Yes, and it makes your breath smell so good. <laughs> the Gaia, don't you just live for these showers? Yes. All right, there you go. More? Okay. Yes. Go, go, go. I see new feathers growing in that empty space on her wings. So good. Love it. All right, guys, I'm blending coffee. Now this here is the very first blend of coffee from day one of our coffee tasting. For those of you who don't know, RJ and I are working on releasing our very own brand of coffee. And a lot of you guys are saying that other people are also releasing coffee brands. We didn't know this. What other people are releasing coffee? But um, our coffee here is um, locally sourced from the Philippines, from the Cordilleras region, which is in the mountains here in the Philippines. And this coffee is bomb diggity. It is so good. I've been drinking Philippine coffee for years now. I love coffee from Baguio. So we're right 
now in the testing phase where we test various blends of different coffee bean species grown by these local farmers in Baguio. And I personally loved the very first blend. It was the feeling that it gave me was just wonderful. It was nice, strong coffee. Well, medium strong. I wouldn't say strong. But in terms of the caffeine kick, it felt like I was flying. Like, it was so great. And it didn't feel like I was on drugs or anything. And I didn't have heart palpitations. I didn't have trouble sleeping that day. So I wanted to just try it again. That first blend before we receive our next round of coffee blends for us to judge on. Yes, love it. Pour my coffee grinds. Now, I do have a question, guys. How many out there have their own coffee grinders? Do you guys have your own coffee grinder? Because we'd like to know if you guys prefer the coffee beans whole so that you can freshly grind them yourself or if you prefer the coffee grinds already ground up and then you just put them in your coffee maker. I'm just curious as to how many people out there actually have coffee grinders for those of you who do drink coffee um, and how many out there don't have coffee grinders and like you just prefer for already ground up. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Check out that gorgeous brew, guys. Mmm. <laughs> so nice. It smells good. Mmm. And just gonna let it cool off. What I love about coffee, actually, is it's so versatile. You don't have to have it black and in a cup just like this and hot. It could also be mixed with condensed milk or any cream or even soy milk and stick some ice in there or even blend it in with some ice and you can make yourself a fresh iced cappuccino. Mmm. So good. It can be used, of course, in various other ways, like in cooking, you can combine coffee in your cuisine. Also, it can be drank with alcoholic drinks. Like one time I was invited for a lunch at my parish in Toronto, Canada, and some of them put like, I don't know if it was amaretto or whiskey or whatnot in their coffee. You can have it as an alcoholic drink too, which is interesting. Um, and then, you know, there are also various other cocktails with coffee in it. There's just so many ways to enjoy coffee, I find. Almost forgot, you can turn coffee into a freezy or popsicle mmm just add a little bit of sugar so good but as for me I'm just gonna drink it black like this I love it like this right on time for my online meeting yes guys see you guys in a bit all right guys I just finished my meeting online and guys this coffee is just wonderful Ooh, it tastes how do I explain the bitterness is there but it's silky it's like a silky bitterness I think today I used more beans and because RJ's not having any maybe I it's stronger now so like I can really taste the bitterness so before on day one it was like three or 3.5 bitterness now it's about 3.5 but it's like a nice coffee bitterness almost a little bit of a sourness and then the smoky taste but it's not overbearing smoke i'm starting to fall in love with blend number one more and more and i feel great yes look who decided to join me the dinner table can i kiss you <laughs> yes she wants to explore She's like, I feel like biting your blender. Okay, now she wants to bite the tripod. And now she's asking me to scratch her, but in a certain way. Okay. She's also checking my hands for the syringe to see if I'm about to give her medicine. No, not yet. Later tonight. Ooh. Yes. Ligaya Summers, you're beautiful. Beautiful bird. Of course, Cypher's here watching because Ligaya flew here. Every time Ligaya flies here, Cypher is right here, right on her tail. He just is mind blown every time she flies. You are so lucky, Ligaya, that you could fly. That's an awesome ability. Yes. Scratches, you want scratches? No. I'll just put my hand here and you tell me what you want it for. guys positive affirmation for Thursday September the 3rd whatever I am guided to do today will be a success love that there you go guys whatever you're guided to do today will be a success so guys lately I don't know if you guys have been following me on Instagram or even my Facebook fan page I've been posting a lot of some of our past travel vlog and I realized you know what RJ and I have traveled to a lot of places like because of this most of this year it's all been about home time in fact RJ did we travel at all
all this year? No, right? We didn't fly anywhere. So like this is the least we've ever traveled in years, but I mean for a good cause. But as I was going through some of our vlogs, I realized, wow, we really traveled a lot together. Uh, you Mabu High Squad who've been following us for more than a year. In one year, we even had 79 flights. <laughs> like literally, it was a lot of time was spent in airplanes, traveling to different countries for work, to do concerts, to do meet and greets, to visit family, or even for leisure. Because say we were curious about what's Laos like, or Sri Lanka like, or we were invited by the governments of these countries to come vlog their country to show you guys. And I was just realizing, wow, we had some really great times. Like for example, do you guys remember our Maldives vlogs? Unreal, what a place, pretty awesome. December last year for Christmas, we flew to Los Angeles, Hollywood, right? We've been to LA a few times in the vlogs, but last year it was to attend the Streamies, which is like the Grammys for YouTubers. That was pretty cool. Walking the red carpet was pretty awesome and seeing other like famous YouTubers who I love. Yeah, it, I, I can't wait to travel. Oh my gosh, Palau. Did you guys see the Palau vlogs? Some of my favorite vlogs, travel vlogs in our travel series. The Palau vlogs are on my comedy channel um, before we decided to separate the daily vlogs to its own channel. Uh, you should check that out. Of course, Preto Galera, Hong Kong, Qatar, OMG, the Middle East, guys. It's like a whole different universe there. Beautiful, beautiful city. I love Qatar as well as Dubai. Guam, OMG. We've been to Guam together a few times, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but just an awesome island. Also out in Micronesia like Palau. Singapore, OMG. The best meal I've ever had in my life was in Singapore. So good. Check out those vlogs as well. New York. I loved traveling to the US to perform for their Philippine day um, where I performed at uh, on a stage in the middle of Madison Square. Oh my god, that was so fun. Australia, we've traveled to, but we weren't vlogging back then. I love Melbourne, I love Adelaide, I love Sydney as well. That was really fun. Had fun in Hawaii, but again, wasn't daily vlogging back then. Anyways, I was just reminiscing and wanted to reminisce with you guys, for those of you who've been following us. It was really, really a blast of traveling, and I can't wait to travel again, whenever that might be. But guys, if you do miss the travel vlogs and you haven't been following us for I don't know three years or so <laughs> do follow my Instagram is Mikey underscore Bustos Facebook is of course just Mikey Bustos and I'll be uploading some of our past travels and random adventures in the day because as you know for this all of this year the daily vlogs have just been within these walls I don't know maybe you guys might find it mundane and repetitive but if you guys do want to escape do check out some of our past travel vlogs. The world is an awesome place. So we've come to the end of yet another day. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for this day. I had so much fun and ending the night with my ritual of spicy Korean noodles. Yes, mm, I love it. Say good night, Lagaya. Say thanks for watching, Mabuhai Squad. Cipher. Say bye to Mabuhai Squad. Say thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your day, and be sure to go to bed smiling. Bye. Mm. Love you guys.